people started drifting off. All right. Because when you start preaching about sin, well, people will leave you in a minute. And 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 so my faith was was really challenged because I said, Lord, you sent me here, but now you, you, you're you allowing some people to leave. All right. But the Lord was teaching me something. Because you cannot be effective in ministry or even effective in your life if you really don't understand the importance about walking by faith. All right. Paul reminds us, Paul reminds us, and he tells us to walk by faith yeah. and not by sight. All right. uh, and and, and, and this, this text here concerning with Abraham, I think is very, very important of me sharing this with you in relation to Abraham. All right. Again, uh, some of you here, uh, your faith has been tested or challenged. Yeah. And it may be and then faith have been tested or challenged, maybe through a sickness. All right. And you're waiting on God for healing. Come on now. Or maybe you have lost a job and uh, you're, you're, you're truly praying to God that He would open the door. All right. Or maybe something has happened in your life unexpected. Yeah. Everything was going well, everything was going the way that you thought it was to go. Alright. And all of a sudden an interruption or something came unexpected that now is causing your faith to be challenged All right. or tested. All right. You know, it's amazing because Peter says, think it not strange. All right. Think it not strange that your faith is tried All right. because you're going to go through something as long as you are a child of God. And please hear this, y'all. Yeah. The, the, the more you try to get closer to God, Come on now the more the enemy is going to try right. to pull you away. Right. And what I've learned is, got, the enemy not just going to use people far from you. All right. It'll use folks right close by you. All right. And your faith has to stand uh -huh. through some stuff uh -huh. that sometimes only you uh -huh. have to go through this storm by yeah, yourself. All right. Have anybody in here ever has to walk through something oh, yes. that yes. you wish somebody else could carry it for you, All right. Come on. but you had to carry it? And truthfully, you thought you was carrying it, but really, you wasn't carrying it. All right. The Lord was carrying you. Yes. All right. And so I want to share something because I've, I've learned something, Apostle, about faith that really changed my mindset, that really changed my focus in ministry All right. that really changed my mindset concerning with our marriage and all of that because you, 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 you cannot think that you are anointed and trouble will not come your way. All right. All you, right. you cannot. And sometimes, sometimes, and it's amazing, but sometimes your faith can be challenged in the mix of death. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. It, it, it can be challenged when, when something unexpected come that you never thought would come into your life. Yeah. All right. You know, Job said it best. That now which I fear the most yeah. has now come upon me. All right. Because I'm telling you something. In this walk of life with Christ, right. which is a good walk. Right. And a good fight. Yeah. All right. But I come to let you know, if you don't trust Jesus, kind of you will never make it on your own. Can I help somebody? Amen. I'm not talking about you got all of your trust in people uh -huh. or in your job. Uh -huh. You got to have your trust in Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. If you're going to make it yes. to the next level. Amen. And so Abraham, Amen. Abraham, now we see Abraham here because I want to I want to talk about Abraham because he's mentioned also in the book of Hebrews. All right. But it talks about those patriots of faith. All right. And here in the book of Genesis is where Abraham now comes into place. And God simply tells Abraham, apostle, he tells him, he said, Abraham, I want to make you great. All right. Come on. He said, listen, I know you. I, I know everything about you. I know you're not perfect. But guess what? Your, your righteousness. Uh-huh. You have, a, you have a gift that I believe that you believe in me. All right. And so Abraham, Abraham, who's a, proge a progenitor of faith, uh -huh. who is a man who trusted God, uh -huh. but still not perfect. All right. 
And so I want to share something that I think is important. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to get you emotional. I just want to share something that is powerful and something that I've learned as well. Four things that is important about walking by faith. All right. All right. Because please hear this. We think that faith is easy. All right. We think that faith Come is something that, that 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 comes automatically just and out of nowhere. All right. All right. But the Bible says faith cometh by hearing. All right. And hearing the word of God. All right. When, when, when cancer come upon you, uh -huh. mud is not what you need. All right. You need faith. Uh -huh. when, 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 when you lost your job or the, the, the company has shut down uh -huh. and you think that you need money to pay your bill, uh -huh. which that's important, uh -huh. but also you need faith Amen. to trust God to keep you All and right. to carry you All right. until he opens another door. All right. <laughs> and so this is what I want to share with you that I think is very important. Four things, and I'll be quickly out of your way, concerning with this, these texts with Abraham. Number one, number one, faith will not make things easier All right. in life. Amen. Let me say it again. Amen. Faith will not make things easier in life. All right, say so. Look, look at verse number one. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, get thee out of the country. Abraham had a, a, a task that was not easy. All right. But his faith was being challenged. Uh -huh, right. Because now he had to leave yeah. and he had to also go to a place that he has not yet seen. All right. Wow. Oh, Can you imagine God telling you to leave from something? Right. That you have not yet seen where he's leading you to. All right. It can be a situation. He can shut down a job. And God can simply tell you he's moving you to another place. All right. But you don't know. You think that you need to see where God is taking you. All right. But faith is not sight. Faith is walking when you believe and trust in God. All right. Abraham. Abraham had to leave from his country. Leave from his hometown and leave from his family. All right. And God says, get thee now up, Abraham, All right. and leave your country and your kindreds. Uh -huh. And he had to take his wife and Abraham, who thought that, that, that he was going to leave and maybe God would show him. But please hear this. I want y'all to catch this. Sometimes, please hear this. You're looking for God to show you before you move, but God will not show you the place until you start walking by faith. All right, all right. You're thinking that first God must show you where you need to go. Uh -huh. But the way God operates is you got to start walking. That's right. And then God can show you where he wants you to go. All right, come on. The same thing in the, with the people of Israel when, when, when they step in the Jordan River. All right. The water did not cease down until they stepped in the water. Come on. But if they would have stayed outside and waited for the water to come down, then how would God know that they trusted him? That's right. You see, real trust is not what you see. Uh -huh. Real trust is not what somebody tells you. Real trust is when you don't know what's going to happen, but you still got enough faith to trust God that he's going to make everything okay. All right. 